In our first tutorial video of this series, we configured our section frame to have three different view frames within it. You can see over on the right when we've selected our section frame that we have three views listed here that we can click here to navigate between. And we can also see one out of three here. Now we want our users to be able to navigate this from their end, because right now we haven't provided them anything that will help them navigate between the three views, which in this instance has a map on the first view, a table on the second view, and a chart in the third view. So how are we going to provide them navigation? The best way to provide them navigation is to scroll all the way down of the insert widget panel on the left, and then pull in the views navigation widget. Now this widget has to be outside of your section frame. If you tried to pull this inside of your section frame, it would not allow you to link to anything. It has to be outside of your section frame. And when it is, you can see that it, it already by default provides the links and the names to the three views within that section. I'm just going to go ahead and choose this default formatting. Now you can see that it's already linked to my section and it's named view, view two and view three, but we want this to be more detailed, provide more information for our users to truly understand what they're navigating to. So we need to come back over to our section frame and click on settings. So when we need rename our views, I'm going to rename my first view map. My second view is going to be table, and my third view is going to be chart. And you can see that as I rename them in the configuration panel on the right, they are also being renamed in the views navigation menu above my section frame. I'm going to go ahead and save that, and then I'm going to preview it. And now you can see that I have three links here, and when I click in between them, my section frame switches in and out between the three views.